Welcome back. Continuing the news. Preliminary details of the investigation into the death of Noel Chambers were released in the House of Representatives today. Mr. Chambers died after 40 years in prison without conviction. Minister of National Security, Dr. Horace Chang, stated that there had been attempts to release Mr. Chambers. So what happened? The special investigation into the death of deceased inmate Noel Chambers was undertaken by the Department of Correctional Services. According to the report, Mr. Chambers was incarcerated in February 1980 on a charge of murder and was remanded by the courts to Tower Street at the Governor General's pleasure. It said in October 1986, Mr. Chambers made an application to petition the Governor General for reprieve. Now, in order for him to be released, he would have had to return to court prior to the application. It's not clear what happened in the 14 years between 1986 and 2000. But in December 2000, the House was told that Noel Chambers' family requested that he be released on parole. However, given that he was being held at the Governor General's pleasure, he was not eligible. Four years later, in 2004, the report stated that Mr. Chambers was included in a project where a special team was assigned to search for relatives of inmates who were not fit to plea and to have them return to the courts. The one-year project was a collaboration between the Department of Correctional Services, DCS, and the Independent Jamaican Council for Human Rights. The DCS says it could not find Mr. Chambers' relatives. There was a movement of his family from Walton Park Road to elsewhere. It took some time to find where they had gone. After they had been certainly frustrated by the earlier efforts in order to Point the the family had made efforts to appeal to the GG to get parole and nothing went. And I think they were just frustrated. And we did find them at a later stage. Dr. Chang also told the House that on several occasions, Mr. Chambers was deemed fit to plea. It appeared also that he was filed in the gentleman's life. So when he was to go to court, nobody could find a file. And it just went on and on as a comedy of errors that really put. Mr. Chambers at risk in a most inhuman way. Fast forward to August 2019, it's reported that Mr. Chambers stopped eating. According to the report, he seemed confused and was later diagnosed with dementia. The minister said he was visited on six separate occasions by medical officers. To speak on for the issues of events culminated in the death of Mr. Chambers, of course, in January of this year. He was found unresponsive in the hospital dorm at Tower Street in January 2020. The post-mortem revealed that he died from natural causes due to acute pyelonephritis or acute kidney infection. However, checks on his laboratory reports to this he may have had prostate cancer as well. Stressing that this incident should not be allowed to happen again, Dr. Chang announced that the DCS has identified persons who've been in their custody for 30 years at the courts and Governor General's pleasure. Based on psychiatric assessment, they've been deemed as low violence producers and have been referred to the Chief Justice for consideration for granting clemency. He also said there are ongoing consultations with the Jamaica Psychiatric Association to acquire five psychiatrists to assess mentally ill inmates.